Yo, YouTube what's good? Oh shit, I'm way too close to my mic. Yo, YouTube what's good? It's your boy Ronald. And yes, we're back after I said okay, just shut up, bro. Okay. I'm done. Um today I'm gonna show you how to solo the um the Duke. I'm gonna speed run through this, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to solo the Duke. He's actually really easy. There's just a cheese method to it that I'm about to tell you. Uh one thing though, you need a weapon that can posture break or like or like block break, like a heavy uh, your heavy critical or like a shadow katana critical or something like that like if you were using a shadow i don't know if it works with the hero blade like i don't know if it works with the hero blade or anything like that but you need something like that and then you can just cheese them so first you're going to want to find a server where your key is glowing uh jump to open it up and we're going to go through this this part is pretty easy you don't even need to parry them they do no damage uh by the way this is my level 60 wind account this is my build if you want to follow it the ending is going to have 35 strength or maybe 37 depending on what i want to do um but like so sorry my brother takes me looking at something but basically what we're going to do is just kill these guys they're easy just parry and hit if they parry it just parry again it might be a lot of them but it's not going to be hard to defeat them because they have no health at least when you're like my level so and then with this one uh, you just want to parry. You can heavy attack or just wait for the parry and just keep hitting. You know them to die. And by far, this is definitely the best way to get sparks and like modifiers. Cause look at how many I've done about nine or ten or twelve dukes, and this is what I've gotten. It's a lot. You get a lot of stuff from this. You also get a lot of money for it, like a lot, like three k every single time your inventory fills up, maybe more. So after you're done with the first part, which is easy, you want to come down here and then make sure you don't need to. I don't know how it works, but sometimes it glitches. Okay, that just wasn't working. Sometimes it glitches and doesn't work, but right now it's working. So you don't need to rest, but sometimes it glitches and you never know. So once you come over here, there's going to be two golems. If you have a projectile, use it. And you see, I hit his foot um, and it will like get one so ugh, hate that like sometimes bandits spawn and it like it tracks to them and then kind of messes everything up and by the way i'm in a cali service so it's gonna be pretty laggy you should go after me after yeah so with this golem it's different than the normal one with this one he has his beams are, are different and also his swing, like his Beyblade move, this right here, is way faster. So it's pretty easy, basically the same thing. Swing twice, he, hit, he does a stomp, does that, and he's gonna probably, oh, he does that. He has every same, like, all the moves are the same, basically, except for this one faster, and you can either shoot one beam or multiple, like a barrage. But they, if you have 100 me heavy or like medium or whatever, they die pretty quick. Uh, they're not too hard. There's no way to cheese them anymore. So yeah, that was one. That was one hit. Um, there's one beam. I'm gonna see if I can do the. I think it's just six or seven, but I could be wrong. Uh, well, it didn't show, but, uh, yeah, they sh they sometimes they shoot a lot of, like, uh, multiple, but it's pretty easy. Just run away until they're done with it, and then just gotta be patient with those, because if they do hit you with that, like, Beyblade move, they do, uh, they do do a bit of damage. Like, they do do a bit. Alright, on to the Duke. Okay, so basically... The Fitness Grand Pacer Test oh, is a multi-stage aerobic there. capacity test. that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. Alright, so with the Duke, you're gonna need the manor key. Um, I hope, just look at the tutorial how to get the manor key. Once you get in here, do all that. Get to the Duke, and if you just spam one, you're gonna start talking to him. So it's first phase before I do this. <laughs> he has one phase. This is his first phase, and he has, um, basically, with this phase, he parries, auto parries everything, and you're just gonna want to parry train. Don't worry, it goes away. Your posture is gonna be very high with that, um, and 
when your posture is high, you're most likely going to get block broken. Obviously. So. But this, but this, like, form right here. Oh, I lied. This form right here, he auto parries everything. And he has, like, super armor. So you basically just want to wail on him. So you just want to wail on him until the, like, it breaks. The armor breaks. But he basically just spams in this form. Sometimes he parries it with you. Like, after he uses strong left, he can parry it with you. Okay. Now that he's out of this form. Okay, what you're going to do is try and get into a corner. Oh. Okay. Block break him. And then what you're going to do. After you block break him. Oh, okay, so, uh, by the way, if he's like that, never hit him because we just reverse all the damage, but more. So get him into a corner, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna want a heavy block break, and then you oh like God, I can't even show yourself. Okay, you're going to heavy. God, I cannot speak. I might just overlay this because I can't speak right now. Okay, heavy hit, and after you hit, you wanna you wanna do that. You wanna faint. After you hit him once, you want to faint and hit critical again. And then it's just a base. It's an infinite loop. He can't do anything about it. This is just how you can do it. Make sure to get him in the corner and just do this. If you mess up, it's fine. Just make sure he doesn't parry it. This is it. So all you gotta do is beat the Duke. He's free work from here. He'll drop a King Thresher size chest. And he has a chance of dropping a, um, a serrate. Oh, you see I was late with it that time. Oh, shit. I was late with it that time. But, um, yeah, it's kind of how you cheese him. He's, he's like, really easy. I suggest this is, like, the, one of the easier bosses in the game. And if he spawns his minions, those are just three health packs if you're solo them. I suggest you go with like one other person who knows how to fight it, but he's really easy so far. Like he's insanely easy so you see how easily I just killed him? And basically what you want to do is swing, or sorry, on a critical, okay, swing after you uh, block break him, and then after you block break him you're gonna, you're gonna faint, and then he's gonna roll back, and then heavy again. And it's just an infinite loop of that, alright? So, uh, let me get a, let me get a nice little, alright. So yeah, that's how you, like, solo the Duke. He's really easy. And he gives you good loot. And by the way, if he summons his minions, just, it's the same as the other guys. You just parry and then, and then you just swing on them. And they're free health packs, basically. As you see, I got a Pale Morning and a Stardust out of this one. Yeah, it's all right decent stuff decent stuff not the best stuff but decent stuff you have the chance of getting deep gems um enchantments wait deep gems enchantments um legendary weapons like the uh the crypt blade that's what i'm going for right now the crypt blade or the what is it the wind blade or the blade of winds or whatever yeah but i'm going for that oh dang i thought it might be enchanted Wait, I'm stupid or else. Yeah, I'm stupid. But you, you can see here that I got the uh, this spear from the Duke. He actually drops this, not in the chest, but he drops this. I got two rifle spears. I said we get a con shield. That's easy. I got this dark steel greatsword. Um, this uh, I didn't get from the Duke. I got this one star shatter katana. This flint knock and all this other loot that I'm going to sell. But uh, he gives you, uh, and he also gives you luck. He gives you luck and I think he gives you belt progression, but I could be wrong. But basically, when you're done with the Duke, what you're going to want to do, uh, go back up, leave the gate, or else you're going to get kicked out. Uh, you want to leave Lord of Us's Manor. Okay. Oh, another thing. He also gives you the, um, like, the unlock on your uh, mantra. So, the only thing I won't say is don't get fidgety. Just be patient. But then once you get him out of that win state, it's a free kill. But basically, what you're going to do is come out here, and you're going to want to leave, and that's basically it. Um, that's how you solo the uh, the Duke.
he's really easy trust me i know i'm doing this on a level 60 account but he's really easy and really simple so um i'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching um i wanted i want you to try the duke at least once by yourself he, he has, does have a chance of sending you to the depths but don't be scared he's really really simple really easy and if you can if you do it with two or if you do it with three people you can heal on campfires and stuff but you can just get the health packs from the guys he summons so yeah but um hope you guys enjoyed this one hope this helped you out a little bit of how to solo the duke really easily uh and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out